Barrel Restaurant parking lot. I uh, got quite a bit of traffic coming in and out, so not gonna be here very long, but um, we are gathering together at noon every day, praying for Get Lit Blade in 2019. That is happening this Saturday night. We're three days away from this awesome event, a tremendous turnout we're expecting from several counties. We started with just our county, but now we've fanned out and a lot of other counties I believe are gonna be coming, churches. Um, it's just amazing to see what God has done. He's provided everything we need. Um, it, it's incredible. So we're just excited. Please share and let your friends and family know um, that we're gonna be at Elizabethtown Middle School. Starts The gates open at six o'clock. We're gonna start serving free food at 6.30 free prizes and games grand prizes are free everything's free praise and worship and then i'm going to be preaching a message at the end and uh, we're looking for many souls to be saved so be in prayer with us if you can't be there pray with us and i'm gonna ask you to pray with me today uh, as i told you when i started I'm, I'm in a cracker barrel parking lot so uh, uh bear with me I, I don't have my bible i'm using my wife's phone to read and i don't have glasses so i'm gonna do my best to read this but there's something god laid on my heart and uh, I thought I had my Bible in my truck, but it's in Psalms, the first chapter. You know, most most of the time, we, we including adults, young people, whatever, we, we want to fit in. Nobody really wants to stand out because we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. But, you know, when we stand for what's right and we stand for what's good, you are going to draw attention to yourself. But maybe not just the attention of people around you, but spiritual warfare. Satan does not like it when we stand. He does not like it when we do the right thing and so he's going to try to um in, to intimidate cause fear the bible says he's as a roaring lion or lion roars to cause fear and let you know that he's there but jesus took his teeth two thousand years ago on the cross and you need to understand that you have power and authority in the name of jesus and that we're not called to be victims we're not called to be um afraid but we're called to be warriors the bible says that we're more than conquerors so that's who we are today. I want to read something to you out of Psalms, the first chapter. Psalms, the first chapter, verse 1 through 3. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. In other words, not hanging out with the wrong crowd, not doing the wrong thing, but being different. You want to be like Jesus Christ? Don't be like everybody else because he didn't. He didn't fit in. Everywhere he went, he was persecuted. The religious people hated him. You know who was drawn to him? The sinner. Those with no hope. Those people were drawn to him because they saw something different in him. And they'll see it in you too. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law his and his law doth meditate day and night. And he shall be like a planted be like planted by the river of water that bringeth forth his fruit in season, and leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. And there's a lot of preaching about being prosperous. A lot of preachers have gotten fat wallets and rich off of people's back by preaching this junk of the prosperity gospel but true prosperity is not money i'm not against money i'm not saying god doesn't want us to be blessed i'm not saying that god doesn't bless us and bless me and it's okay to have nice things but god's idea of prosperity is blessing us with his spirit blessing us with abundance that we can bless others if you're blessed financially you need to bless others with it you need to bless the kingdom of god you need to use that to spread the gospel uh, but that's not what our focus is. It's not on money. Prosperity is riches in Christ, where moth and rust do not corrupt. My treasures, most of my treasures, are in heaven because I've served God and I know that he has seen it. You might not have seen some of it. doesn't matter. I didn't do it for you, and you shouldn't do it for me. What we do, we do for God, for his glory. And if we do it for the right reasons, when we get to heaven, it'll be there waiting on us, and God will reward us. Don't be like everybody else. You say, well, everybody else is doing it. Everybody else is drinking. Everybody else is smoking weed. Everybody else is popping pills. Everybody else is doing this, whatever. Been there, done that. I've been in the high, I've been through high school, college. I know what it's like to want to fit in and be at parties. I know, I know about all that. It goes even further. It goes even further in, in our work lives, in our adult lives. Everybody wants to fit in, have friends. Let me tell you something. The only friend that sticks closer than a brother is Jesus Christ. And if we'll stand for him, you will face persecution. You will be isolated at times, but I promise you, you will never be alone because his Holy Spirit will be in you and with you and walk ahead of you and behind you and lead and guide and direct your steps. Will you pray with me today for the youth of our county and for America that they will realize that just because everybody else is doing it doesn't mean they have to. There is a choice they can make, and that's a choice to follow Jesus Christ. Our Father and God in heaven, 
Lord, I come to you today and just thank you for your many blessings. Father, I thank you that we don't have to fit in. We don't have to blend in, but we can be what you've called us to be. And Lord, I pray for the young people of Bladen County in America. I pray, Father, that you would break that chains of peer pressure and influence. And Lord, just let your Holy Spirit deal with their hearts. We pray for Saturday night. Father, we pray on the campus of Lisbethtown Middle School that your presence would sit down on that football field and saturate that place. I pray that when people pull up in their cars, they sense your presence and something's different there. I pray for a brokenness over sin, a heaviness over sin, and also pray for your grace and love to just abound as only you can do it. And God will give you all the praise. I give you all the praise and glory right now. For Lord, I know you've already done much and gonna do more. And I give you all the praise and all the glory. This is nothing no man has done. There's not one man that can take credit for what you're doing Saturday night. We give it all to you, for you're the only one that deserves it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I say this. I pray this. Let the words of our mouths, meditation of our hearts, be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, in Jesus' name. Please let me know where you're watching from, and please share. God bless you.